Welcome back, everybody. We have just finished dispatching Daveorn, and we now need to make our way out of this mine. But first, let's take a chance to look around his quarters and see if there's anything else of interest in here. Got a chest from the looks of it. Take a look inside. It's locked. Let's try and force it. No, it failed. So this means Corrin. We have need of your services once again. Have a crack at it, Corrin. He has failed. Hmm. Perhaps this lock is beyond even his abilities. Fortunately, we do have that knock scroll. It's a level 2 alteration spell, and it enables you to open virtually anything that is locked. So let's see if we can try our luck here. Cast it upon the chest. Wherever M went. Oh, here she is. Right, she's on her way over. In just a moment. She must have been snooping around. Let's see what was inside. Ooh, a ring. A couple of potions, including a potion of Master Thievery. This could be just what we needed, actually. So it will temporarily transform you into a Master Thief, increasing your lockpicking and pickpocket skills by 40% for three hours. So we're going to give that to Corrin, and if we come across anything that cannot be opened, we know who to turn to. Let's continue looking around in here. There's another chest from the looks of it. Yes, luck. Try and open this one, and if you can't, you must imbibe the potion. Seems like you cannot. So he has become a master thief and succeeded. 300 gold coins. Let me take a look. The rest of here is, oh, seems to be Dayborn's bedroom, and who is this? Stefan. Hmm, we'll take a look at what he has to say first. He's surprised that we've killed Dayborn. Seems that he was. Dayborn's apprentice. He doesn't know anything. Okay, maybe just a little bit, but he was only his student, honestly. He offers to help us, give us some information in exchange for his life. Well, who are you, and what was your role here? Just his apprentice. He studied under him, and that's it. What was the purpose of this installation? So it seems they, I assume the Iron Throne, Trying to look like the saviors of the day, riding in with their stores of iron to equip the troops, or something like that. With all the bandit raids and the rumors going on about the Amish forces gathering in the south, the Iron Throne figured that the Dukes of Baldur's Gate would think they needed arms and ore quickly in case of an attack. They could get exorbitant prices, or better yet, sanctions against their competitors, and an easing of trade laws for themselves only. So they wished to establish themselves as an underground power on the coast. The iron shortage. Who was behind it? Of course, the Iron Throne. Daborn ran this place for the regional bosses in Baldur's Gate. Some strange potion was used to taint the iron already stored. They also used Mulahe to keep new ore from being mined in Nashgal, and bandits raiding any incoming trading caravans. The perceived shortage would embellish the real threat. Who was Davorn's superior? Who really gives the orders around here? He swears he doesn't know. There are regional leaders of the Iron Throne, three of them, but he does not know their names. Davorn got his orders from someone else, complaining about it a lot. The main building for the Iron Throne is in Baldur's Gate, somewhere in the southwest of the city, it seems. And it seems like that is all he has to offer us. Get out of my sight, weakling. He thanks us promising not to get involved with people like this ever again, no matter how good the fringe benefits are. Yes, sir. I'm reasonably sure he'll never get involved again. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, well, off to you. Simple task. Okay, let's see. We got a bookshelf here with a rather useless spell, but also Larlock and Horror. I'll take those. And we have another chest here. Corn to get crack at it. It is, in fact, locked. A wand of monster summoning or fear i think we have one like that already it's a wand of fear okay so another one to add to our collection right, let's quickly save it seems like this is the way out i would assume this takes us back to the first floor as a shortcut but first we have a little bit more to look at and i actually think now that we have that lock picking potion we just might be able to go back to the previous level and unlock a number of chests up there that we could not open just yet. First we have to dispatch this mustard jelly though. 
Orin's weapon is ineffective, of course. His arrows have no power against a big ball of slime. So, there we go. Alright, but he does need to pick a lock, perhaps. Succeeded. Alright, so there's three chests here, and knowing Dave Warren and his affinity for traps, I'm going to see if I can find any. But uh, if not, then we're just going to go ahead and open them up. It does not seem like there are any traps here, so I'm going to go ahead and open. A thousand gold pieces and an ox bell to replace the one that we lost. A bunch of gems, including a Lyral's tear necklace and a Melf's acid arrow. And lastly, a bunch of scrolls and detect invisibility. Don't really need these at this point, I don't think. There's a good chance that they're cursed. So I shall abandon them. And I think that should just about do it up here. We've explored, I think, every room, except for this altery looking area. And I don't see anything that can be looted. Seems like it's just a shrine to something. And, uh, oh, we have this <coughs> kitchen looking area. We'll go in there real quick. So Dave Warren had a nice little setup here. But we have thoroughly dismantled his operations. Another detective visibility scroll. I'll compliment the first. And nothing else. So it's actually, rather than take the shortcut back to the first floor, <coughs> we shall go back up to the third, take a look around there, after we have this chest, of course. And uh, after that, we can make our way to the first floor and try and bring this mine down. Oh no, come on, Corn. You must gather wall. your party before venturing forth. Open this chest real quick. You must gather your party and see what else awaits us in forth. here. Oh, potions. Uh, cold resistance. I would like that, so I shall take it. I'm not so cold that I would leave the lonely potion behind. Alright, so let's go in and take this shortcut looking area here. Simple task. Follow Khalid in case there's any danger. Hopgoblins lurking about. Oh, who's that? A guard. I can't what are you doing here, sir? Try. He has nothing to say to us. Hmm. Seems standing idly by. Well, of course. well, if he doesn't give us any trouble, we won't bother him. So we shall continue on. Will be done. And here we have a guard who's coming to speak with us. My arms tied behind my We're here back. to pay homage to their dreadlord. Hmm. If he had asked Zevrik, I'm sure that, due to his lawful nature, he would have uh, no part in professing his faith to something he did not believe in. But, perhaps, <coughs> Yeslik has no such reservations. So, yes, we are here. Say the Dreadlord's name aloud in prayer. Hmm. Well, I seem to recall that Mulahe had a his holy symbol, and had a symbol of Cyric emblazoned on it, the purple skull with a sunburst around it, or a black sun, rather. So, I'm sure Yeslik is aware of this as well, as acquainted as he is with the mining operation, so he will say, by the black sun of Cyric. Oh, good, you're right, okay. Did not want to get that wrong, I'm sure, or else he might have to fight this guy. I'm sure he would not be laughably easy like all the others. Okay, a couple more potions, I'll take them. And now we are full for inventory, it seems. Well, I'll just go ahead and wear a necklace and a ring for now. No sense in just having our fingers empty. And there we go. More potions. Let's make our way up here. I think the, the mystery chest that we could not open was somewhere in this vicinity. So we'll continue up that way. Bunch of corpses lying around here. Mm, cannot recall which chest it was, so I'll just have Corrin investigate them all. Great beauty. I'll do my best. I'm going to explore the rest of these rooms. Another guard, eh? This is his room, we're not supposed to be there, so we will cut you down. Oh, I nice about to leave. And nothing too interesting. Lots of potions though, mirrored eyes and strength. I'll take it. Alright, Corrin, do your- th uh oh. Uh, that's a lot of hobgoblins. Hmm. We're gonna run away, Emmeline, and try and see where the rest of the party is. For some reason, Jahir is way down there. Don't like the looks of that. Kind of want her to stay in place, actually. Don't want her to 
go stumbling across any other enemies. I'm gonna try and get Emily out of here as quickly as we can. Let's bring uh, corn back over. Cut down these hot dogs. Alright, corn. Here's it. Into the pit. Not that I can tell. Perhaps it was in this room. More. Seems they are uh, repopulating these mines faster than we can deal with them. So let's rest assured that we're dealing with them and try and pick the rest of these blocks. There's some uh, water star gems. I suppose we could take that if we only had the space for it. Right, here we go. Not that one. There we go. Gorin, dispatch him. Wait for Yeslik to do it. Alright, we're gonna take a quick break here and we'll be back in just a moment. We'll continue exploring the rest of these bedrooms. See what awaits us. Stay tuned.